In this lesson, I'm going to show you where to download the Titanium SDK and Titanium Studio. Um, I want to do a simple installation of the Android Toolkit. I'm going to do this in Windows um, partly to demonstrate um, which things uh, need to be installed with the Android Toolkit. Um, otherwise, everything else uh, is uh, fairly straightforward. Uh, the um, installation on the Mac goes uh, similarly. Um, the difference being that on the Mac, uh, you would also need to install the, um, the Xcode system uh, in order to support iOS development. OK, so to start off with, uh, you see here the, um, the place to go in order to download um, uh, Titanium is to go to docs.epsel accelerator.com slash titanium um, 2.0 slash index.html uh, and then on this um, on this page there is a link to download titanium studio so I'm going to go ahead and click on that I think if you aren't um, logged in already you will be prompted to log in um, and if you don't have an account then you'll need to create one and you'll find a link on here under Titanium Downloads for Windows. I've already downloaded it, uh, depending on uh, the speed of your network. That um, may be just a couple of minutes, uh, maybe a little bit longer. But anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and install this and find it in the folder. And then double click on it. Install. This should just take a minute or so. Mm -hmm. So uh, Titanium runs as uh, an Ecl Eclipse extension. Uh, and so when you do finally get it installed and running, um, it uh, will look a lot like um, a lot like Eclipse. Um, here we go. So just gonna go ahead and click through all of these things. I'll choose a location to do the install. And create a folder. Install. Anyway, so um, the uh, the installation um, will just take uh, a moment here um, to fire up. Uh, a couple of things to note with um, the uh, with accelerators that. Uh, it does run on multiple platforms, including Linux, um, Windows, and um, and on the Mac OS. Uh, under Linux, uh, just like with uh, with Windows, uh, you'll only be able to execute the Android emulator um, since the iPhone, the iOS uh, simulator, only runs on OS X. Uh, a couple of notes. Uh, another note I wanted to make was that um, the uh, the emulator for Android is uh, a virtual machine that um, emulates hardware, and then the uh, Android operating system runs on top of that. And so uh, you do get something that is closer to the actual hardware that um, you'll be developing for. The issue with this, of course, is that um, the uh, uh, the emulator runs a lot slower than the uh, than the iOS simulator, so you'll have to keep that in mind while you're doing your development. So I'm gonna go ahead and close that, and then Titanium Studio has been installed on my desktop. I'm gonna go ahead and start that up. It's going to prompt me the first time for a username and password. So I'm just going to. Oops, uh, oh. Okay. 
So, anyway, um, Okay, so the um, if you see the uh, uh, the installation here again, uh, like I mentioned, this is uh, running um, on top of Eclipse, and so it has a lot of features that are similar to the um, Eclipse platform. Uh, we do want to go through and configure this. Uh, I'm going to let the uh, the Git installation continue, but uh, I do want to. Uh, Oh, I guess I need to wait for this. I do want to go through the installation of the um, of the Android toolkit. Oh, if I can cancel this. Oh, that's done. Okay. All right. So let's go to configure. And I'm going to hide this part of the screen and get things set up. So you see there's a question mark here. Uh, it actually, on Windows, it doesn't even give you the option of installing um, the iOS uh, SDKs. But we do need to install the Android SDKs. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this. You see here that it's giving us um, information of what it actually needs. So Platform Tools version 8 uh, needs an S Android SDK. Uh, so it requires platform 2.2, um, at least that, and then Google APIs version 8, SDK tools version uh, 14. So I'm going to execute this, and then I can install this anywhere I want. Um, it's asking me for a directory. I'm going to um, install this. Let's see, I guess I'll put it on the C drive under Android. If you're doing this on the Mac, you can also install this anywhere. It does not have to be in one of the system directories. Um, this is especially important if you're in the lab. Uh, let's see. Click on OK. And so this may end up taking a while um, for this part to get going. Actually, it's the next step that um, may take some time. Uh, because we'll need to do um, downloads of the, um, the different uh, SDKs and the toolkits and whatnot. Um, let's see how long this is going to actually take. Just give it a moment and see if we have we see some progress. So um, the SDK manager is going to show us the things that we already have installed and show us which things are, are uh, currently installing. Um, let's see. Just give it some time. We'll eventually get a, uh, a wizard. Here we go that uh, will give us options and the things that we can install. Okay, so uh, the thing that we want to be careful about here is we don't want to go through and install everything because for one, we don't actually need everything that's, uh, that's here. Um, and what I'm going to do is I want to keep an eye here on the things that uh, were mentioned as uh, being part of the installer, the things that we need. Uh, so a number of things that are here we don't actually need. Um, we don't need the documentation, so I'm going to go ahead and reject that. There's all this stuff here, these platform tools. Um, uh, these are platform tools for the later, or more, sorry, more recent versions of 
Android, many, much of which we don't actually need. I don't believe that a lot of this is, in, is uh, uh, currently supported by um, titanium. So we will, let's see, let's get rid of all of these. And then we don't need the samples. We can get rid of all of those. there was a faster way to do all this. Uh, I don't know. We'll just have to group force this, which means I need to click through everything in order to unselect them. Try to use down arrow to do it and it erased everything. Okay, so don't need the samples. need some of these Google APIs. Uh, looks like add-on Google API version 8. So I'll make sure that we have that selected. Again, I apologize. This is going to take a little while. And again, uh, a lot of this is because we just, frankly, we just don't need any of it. Um, a lot of it isn't actually supported by titanium anyway, so there's no, re no need to include it. And then you'll notice there's a lot of things in here that are specific to different um, hardware platforms, again, which we won't really need. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove all of them. Again, I wish there was a faster way to do all this um, other than having to go through and select and reject every single one. Almost done. to the one I need to include, which is the Google API. I don't need the dual screen APIs. Oh, there's so many of them. Just a few more. There we go. Okay, let's click on install.
It's getting pretty close here. So if you uh, if you just go ahead and select everything that um, was shown on the previous screen, this install would take much longer, uh, and that's obviously what uh, you want to try to avoid. Um, this will make it so that you only have to install the things that are absolutely necessary for the uh, uh, titanium environment. Um, eventually, we're going to get a message that says that uh, things have been updated. Here we go. We're downloading the packages, um, shows us which things are actually installed, um, and that's pretty much all we need. Okay, so everything seems to be done, and now you'll see here that the interface is updated, the question mark is gone, and Android is now supported. Uh, we could actually test all this out. Um, just going to quickly create a titanium project, um, which I'll show how to do this again in a different uh, um, podcast. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and click on finish. And then we'll run it in the uh, emulator. Just about done. Here we go. Let's click on that and run it in the Android emulator. Um, and then we should see uh, the emulator come up and it'll show the interface. Yeah, so there's the emulator. Anyway, the, uh, the Android emulator does take a little while to run, and we are going to see this again in a different uh, uh, podcast. So I'm just going to go ahead and end it there. Um, but uh, anyway, so this is the installation under, uh, under Windows. Um, it will be similar for... Um, it'll work similarly um, under Mac OS as well as uh, Linux. Um, you should, uh, of course, spend some time to install the um, uh, Titanium Studio and uh, and one of the SDKs, either Android or iOS, on on your system. Uh, so, anyway, that concludes this lesson.